you're not gonna believe this, but right behind me is not only a tiny house, but also an art studio. So if you're creative like me, or if you just wanna get artsy, you can paint in here and also live. This space is beautiful, modern, and spacious. I'm gonna go inside and take you on a tour. Let's do this, baby. It's the exterior outside of the tiny house for me. This blue tin walls and also sustained wood windows throughout. Let's go inside and check it out. Oh, come on in y'all. Let's do this tour. This place is so nice. Like, you know what Oprah, when she sees something, she like this. <laughs> That's exactly how it looks. This living room is spacious. I mean, you can run around in here. You can do flips, everything but it's the design for me. Cubby holes, storage area, wooden tops for an entertainment system. And your TV sits right up here. And you got the natural sunlight coming in. And then also you have air condition. That's always important in a tiny house because sometimes it can get hot in a tight space. So you always wanna be cool and relaxed and chill like me. This seating area, kick back and relax. Even open the windows and allow some sunlight in or you can let up the windows and let in some fresh air comfortable pillows do you like the color of these pillows comment below if you like the the feng shui the style of these pillows i love color i think whenever you have a tiny structure like this you can do many things or if you want to transform or decorate every one, one year two years you can do that as well because it's a tiny space you can always transform it and change it but yeah this is so relaxing let's continue with the tour y'all but this kitchen dough, Woo! look at this. Oh, I could cook in here all day, every day, breakfast, lunch, dinner. You wanna eat with me? Come on over and eat. We're gonna cook it up and look at this countertop. Love the wood. This is a light wooden countertop. So that makes the space more open. Whenever you're designing the house, if you use white light countertops, colors like this this is like a i say this is a tiffany blue it's gonna open up your space more and this sink is absolutely gigantic this is like a sink that you would have in a restaurant art art everywhere plants you have all your appliances that you need from a microwave to a nice large refrigerator and then you have ample amount of storage that you can store things here <sighs> wow this place really does have everything you need and as you walk right from the kitchen back through the living room you have storage right here they have this big vase and have some plants here and then i also love that the fact that the living room under the sofa has additional storage so if you have little ones you have a kid or two you can always store games blankets for if you have guests over or for movie nights and everything like that and what's next is behind me is full bathroom also it has a washer in it full tub shower and I have a bedroom to show you and also the last part a whole entire art studio right up here so you got to make sure you watch the video to the end to see an art studio where you can paint and everything if you book this place and what's behind this door a full-size bathroom and it is spacious boy this thing right here is huge <laughs> huge sink i love the wood i mean the wood is for people who love nature you know bringing some outdoor elements inside your home is always great large tub so you can sit here and soak after you've had a nice hike through the woods shower connection and then i also love this rustic look they have tin that they use to make the exterior of the shower so nice and a full washer y'all an entire washer in a tiny house and i like the fact they don't have a dryer in here because it reminds me of going back home to my grandmother's house in douglasville texas we should wash clothes outside in the washer and then we used to dry them on clothesline so i think being out here in nature and using the outdoor elements to dry your clothes are so nice it takes you back in time you know <sighs> So much space, so nice. But we gotta continue, let's go. Next, we're about to go up to the master, also called the Boom Boom Room. I'm tall and I still have enough room when I'm coming up here, so it's a lot of space in here. Oh, it's spacious up here, baby. Ah, look at that. A full entire loft space that has windows that you can open and allow some light in to recharge in the morning 
R2 C. You know, good sunset at night through the wood, through the forest. Comfortable mattress. I love the fact the owner has clean, nice mattress. That's very important. And it smells so fresh up here. There's additional storage space right here. And I love the aesthetics and like the, the statues that they have in here. It brings a lot of peace to the home as well. But the next thing is one of my favorite parts in this tiny house. And that would happen to be the modern art studio, which is right across there. Let's go see that. Oh, <laughs> this is cool. Man, I think everybody should have an art studio in their house that you can paint, meditate. This is, this is pretty nice, I must say. Oh, you caught me doing artwork. So I just finished this amazing painting. It says the ocean is powerful, the ocean is free, which is, I agree. But look at this place. The owners have decided to create a modern art studio above in the other part of the loft in a tiny house. I mean, they also have all the art supplies that you need in here. I mean, from frames. I mean, you can actually buy a frame from them canvases and they also have handwritten note that shows you how much everything costs. All small canvas, five dollars, medium canvas, eight bucks. And you have all this art material that you can use from colored pencils to different types of paints, brushes. I mean, everything is up here. Even if you wanted to just meditate, relax, listen to some Bob Marley or read to a book or something, you can do that as well. I absolutely love this space. This is probably one of my favorite tiny homes that I've ever been inside. If you really like this tiny home, comment below. What would you add? What would you do differently? Would you keep everything the same? Would you also, would you book this place? This is located outside of Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, it's so serene out here. So inside of nature, <sighs> art, nature, relaxation, good vibes. I love it here. All right, we've come to an end and I hope you've enjoyed this review of this modern tiny house and also art studio. Once again, my name is Will Etman, also known as Plant Daddy here on Adventures of Will. This channel is all about traveling, food, tiny house reviews now, um, just good vibes and good love. This is a community thing, so if you're here to support I really appreciate it. This is how I continue to make videos like this and share this video with a family member. Share it with someone who wants to get inspired to live tiny or go off the grid or go into nature. Remember to turn on the notifications and come back every week. There's a new video dropping here on my channel, either a tiny house, food review, or traveling somewhere. You can see it right here on Adventures of Will. But like I say all the time, peace, love, and uh, hair grease. <laughs> Until next time, see you later.